Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading for the end of March. This is Miriam. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new returning, thank you so much. And I hope everybody's doing well. So, Cancer, we're going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. So you at least have to know each other. And you don't necessarily have to be together. So whatever your situation is. So we're going to see what's going on for you. So I'm going to pick a card here from the Zodiac Oracle. See what energy is around you or a sign you may be dealing with. And I'll get an opening love energy here between you and your person. And then one for each of you and how you're feeling about each other in the connection. And we'll clarify all this energy with the tarot. How you're feeling about each other in the connection. The actual situation, advice, possible outcome. And then we'll get extra messages here with the mermaid deck. So let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. And Cancer, you could check the description box below. Tons of information down there. Decks I'm using social media. Um, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, um, your playlists are below. If you'd like to send a gift, uh, tip, or donate, all that information is below also. And if uh, you don't want to use PayPal during the premiere, if, if you watch it during the premiere, Super Chats are open, and that is also um, enabled for donations if you'd like to do it that way. So, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you in love. So let's see what we get here. This is a zodiac oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't um, resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Could be past, present, or future energies. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Male or female. Doesn't really matter. Let's take that one. And we have the Moon Energy, which is your energy in the Zodiac Oracle. The Moon Energy is about cycles. It's about feminine energy. It's about feelings, emotions, um, intuition. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So something with cycles here or needing to listen to your intuition kind of energy. And I just noticed Cancer, you're four and then the moon is 14. So, all right. So Cancer, let's see. Let's get an opening love energy message for you. Whoever you're thinking of at this time or who ha whoever Cancer is thinking of at this time for this love connection reading spirit, please. For Cancer, the message most needed. Thank you so much for Cancer. And we have Goddess of the Moon. Oh my God, I can't make this up. Moon and Goddess of the Moon. 52 is 7. 7 is a very spiritually um, divine number. So Goddess of the Moon, again, about intuition feelings, cycles. Wow. Okay. So let's get one for you. It could be very spiritual. Maybe you have a very spiritual connection with somebody. <clears throat> okay. So, or you need to listen to your intuition about this connection. Cancer. Let's see how you are. I'm cancer, I'm put you on this side. And whoever you're thinking of on this side. But if any time throughout this reading you feel like the energies are switched or flip-flop, please feel free to do that at any time during this reading. So Cancer, you have the sun, which is happiness, joy, success, victory, the most positive card. Happy home and family, healing, enlightenment. So you feel in one, this is the first card in the deck, one is about a new beginning. Happiness and joy. I feel like you listen to your intuition about this person and you know that they're your total happiness. So let's see how your person feels, the thinking man. So they're thinking about this, 46 is 10, which is about an ending of a cycle or a completion. Not necessarily, necessarily an ending, but a completion of a cycle. And then one is always a new beginning. So someone here that could be very... Uh, smart, savvy. Um, they could be an overthinking, over, overthinking kind of person. Or someone here just thought really long and hard about uh, you and this connection. But they're definitely thinking of you a lot. And you see this person as your total, total happiness and joy. So let's see what's on the bottom. Angel of Strength. We're getting heavy Leo energy here. 
Very strong bond between the two of you. 50 is five. It's about change. Very, very strong bond. Uh, having strength, courage, determination, ambition, willpower, taming the beast. Maybe you tame this person in some way. And I don't mean like in a whipped way, but maybe, you know, you uh, tamed the beast. Did you tame the beast, Cancer? All right. So let's see what's going on here. For you, Cancer. And I just want to say, Cancer, I uh, just want to thank everybody for their support for the channel. And I am having a contest in honor of reaching 10,000 subscribers. If you're interested in we, uh, if you're interested in winning a tarot deck and a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me, check the description box below along with the pin top comment on how to enter the contest. It'll be open through March and then closed on April 1st and then I'll pick a winner from there. So if you're interested in that, good luck. All right, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. What's going on here with the sun? Let's get your, okay, we got one right, right away. The Three of Pentacles, a very stable, grounded energy here. And what else for Cancer? Working together, teamwork, collaboration, being very smart, analytical, practical, which I feel the thinking man is almost, I feel like, the King of Pentacles kind of energy, very or, or the uh, King of Swords kind of energy. But now we have the Five of Cups, three and the Five of Cups. I feel like you're very determined to work at it with this person. You don't want to lose them because you feel so much happiness and joy with this person, about this person, with the Five of Cups energy. It's about sadness, loss, sorrow. So I feel like if you lost this person, you would like be devastated. So you're willing to work at it, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, building slowly, working slowly, not rushing with this person. That's how I feel. So let's see uh, for your person. I'm feeling this one. The Six of Cups. So yeah, they're thinking about this deep connection. The Six of Cups could have had past lives with this person. Um, or maybe somebody you knew from childhood or just a very long time. But there is definitely soulmate energy there. A deep connection there with the Six of Cups. And they're thinking about that. Okay, so we have the Fool here. So yeah, they thought about it long and hard. They know this is a deep soulmate connection with the Six of Cups and they're ready to take the leap of faith and jump right in and uh, have a new beginning here with the Fool energy. They don't care if they look like a Fool. They thought about it long and hard and they are ready for this new journey with you. Although I see it's, you know, he's turning his back like to all this energy but I'm not getting that because you see these two men looking, facing that way, but it's away from you. But I don't feel like um, that's the case. I feel like they're ready to take a leap of faith with you. All right. So let's see what the actual situation is here. So the eight of wands. So there's that fast. That is about fast action, travel, communication. Uh, Cupid's arrow striking. Could be text messaging. Um Social media chats, that kind of energy, or um, chatting online in some way. Okay, I need four more. I got four. Judgment. <clears throat> so making a final... I feel like... I do feel like you made a final decision about this person with the judgment card. Um, can talk about forgiveness or resurrection, but I'm not seeing anything about forgiveness here. Or like resurrecting. I feel like you made a final decision... And maybe you communicated to this person that you're willing to take it very slow and build slowly because you you don't want to be without them. Queen of Pentacles. So that's Queen of Pentacles is like the minor of the Emperor or the Empress. So very stable, grounded energy between the two of you. Um, nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy. Um, building on a firm foundation for the long term pentacles are very they're long term they're very trustworthy they're stable grounded secure <coughs> sorry kind of energy knave of pentacles so we have the page of pentacles coming on their side and the ace of pentacles yeah so they're communicating also with the page of pentacles 
about, oh, the Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, sorry, about this brand new beginning in love. They want this deep, emotional, divinely guided new beginning in love with you. So here comes a very stable communication offer with the Page of Pentacles. It's like they're going to have you no matter what. They want you in their life no, no matter what. They thought about it long and hard. They feel the deep soulmate connection and they're ready to take that leap of faith. You don't want to lose them. You'd be sad without them. If there has been time apart in the past, it was very sad on your part. And so you made the decision here to communicate. I'm willing to take it slow with the three pentacles energy and build for the long term. And they're definitely wanting that energy too, especially with the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely a lot of love and stability here. So let's get some advice for you, Cancer. Well, we got the sun again. Can't make this up. The sun again. So this is your happiness, joy, connection, success, victory, all that great energy with the sun. We do have the five of swords here, though. Um, let's get a few more. The five of swords can be, you know, giving up or in feeling defeated. Or fighting on no matter what and getting what you want no matter what so sometimes it can be kind of a negative energy but let's see here the chariot so moving forward so I feel like moving forward no matter what with the five of swords energy no matter what no matter the people places things around you um, you know you're not laying down and feeling defeated in this connection no matter what you know what the Sun energy this is your person soulmate twin flame energy um, that you want, you want this with them. So moving it forward to keep moving forward no matter what. That's the um, advice. So let's get one more. Two ones. Yeah. So, you know, maybe at one time you felt like you were at a crossroads about you didn't know what to do about this connection. Or it could have been that energy between you. But for your advice, I'm feeling like, because to me, this you see two people making plans decisions for the future so I feel like keep making those plans decisions for the future move ahead no matter what with this connection because this is a total happiness and joy with this person right, so let's get possible outcomes so we have the queen of swords and that's that air energy that always reminds me of the divine energy divine source divine intervention truth clarity um, cutting things out no longer serving Standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is kind of energy. And the stars, so very divinely guided energy here. Faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. Healing energy. So let's get one more for the possible. Well, we got two. So now we have the king of pentacles. So we got the king and queen of pentacles. So this definitely is, no matter the suit, you get a matching couple. Definite, definite soulmate energy here. So whatever you're thinking of for this reading, your intuition is right with the moon showing up twice here. That's high energy of intuition. No, your intuition is right. If you're not together with this person now or you are or you're dating or whatever and you're wondering, is this my person? For some reason, if you're doubting it, trust your intuition because your intuition is right. This with the sun coming out twice and the stars is divinely guided connection. King of Queen of Pentacles, soulmate couple, growth, stability, um, practicality kind of energy. You know what? I'm not feeling that one. So, yeah, definitely here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have strength. Are you kidding me? I can't make this up. We have strength coming up twice. Wow. So, yeah, very strong, strong bond here. Soulmate twin flame bond. Very strong, strong bond between the two of you. Ten of Swords. So that is about a painful ending of some kind. Seven of Wands, though, you know, fighting for this. You don't want this connection to end, I feel, because you feel like um, it's such the strong bond and the connection. You'll do anything to fight for it. Yeah, Nine of Wands. So you might feel like the Wounded Warrior. It's been a struggle, a battle, a fight. 
but here's commitment. So there's definitely commitment on the table here. Two of Pentacles. So again, uh, feeling imbalanced. Imbalanced for a while here. Feeling heavy burden. Could be a lot of, you know, mutual sexual tension or whatever here. But here's the Knave of Cups. So loving communication between the two of you. Somebody could be writing a letter, a note, a text message, an email of some kind here. To release heavy burdens, of feeling imbalanced. Now saying, okay, I want commitment. It's been a struggle, battle, and a fight. Um, but not giving up. Because <clears throat> Ten of Swords. So I don't know if there was an ending at one time. And now you're coming back together. Or just the fear of this ending for some reason. But fighting for it, not giving up. Because it's a very strong, strong bond. Having that strength, courage, and determination to tame the beast within again taming that beast within so you might have tamed this person if they were a player or they're non-committal but i feel like they feel such a strong bond here now that uh they're not afraid to take this leap of faith they're and this could also be their energy part of their energy too of being divinely guided in this connection and following their intuition you know thinking about it long and hard all right so let's get some extra messages for you, Cancer, with this deck. And Cancer, if you do like the way I read my style, my energy, please feel free to check out my channel. And like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you'll get about five readings a month. Right now I'm doing two love, two general, and a bonus. But that may change in the future. I'm not sure. But either way, you get about four or five readings a month. So if you do, thank you. So let's get some extra messages for you, Cancer. This person is your total package. They're your sunshine. They're your wish and dream come true. Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. Definitely soulmate. And with the matching couple, it's definitely soulmate energy here. So you do have here time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So there might have been something in the past here that someone had to let go of so that this could... Um, come into fruition or it's time to move out of stagnant energy and have this brand new beginning in love however that resonates for you all right so let's get a few more for you cancer cancer let's get a few more wait don't rush into action right now bide your time for better results so that's what i'm feeling with the three of pentacles energy with all these the king and the queen and the three of pentacles um it's about taking your time not rushing you know waiting uh building very slowly for the long term simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work life to ba balance the flow of activities so that may me uh maybe a message for some all right let's you know i think i'm just going to take the bottom of the deck dream big let go of small thoughts about yourself see yourself succeeding so this will be a very successful connection here and i think you've been dreaming about them you've been wishing and hoping and dreaming big about this connection and i do see it's succeeding here with the word succeeding so very successful soulmate connection building very slowly for the long term very strong strong connection the sun twice the strength twice. I can't make this up. The moon twice. Wow. Wow, Cancer. Great energy here. So best of luck to you, Cancer. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.